Hello everyone, welcome. Thank you for your interest in our paper, A Recurrent Vision Language Bird for Navigation. My name is Yi Song Hong from the ANU. This is a cooperative paper with Dr. Chi Wu, my colleagues Yuan Kai Chi and Christian Rodriguez Opaso, and Professor Stephen Good. The key idea is shown in Figure 1. We introduce recurrence into the multilayer transformer to address partially observable inputs. At each time step, a new state representation will be generated based on the new observations. Meanwhile, the past information in state will help inferring a new decision. The main problem we are targeting in this paper is called Vision Language Navigation, or VLN, where an agent is asked to navigate in photorealistic environments following natural language instructions. Previous works such as Press, Prevalent, and VLN Bird have leveraged the powerful pre-trained Vision Language Transformers in VLN. However, they only apply the transformer for encoding the textual visual features and still need to train a navigator network from scratch for navigation. We observed that the key components in the navigator network, including language encoding, cross-model grounding, and decision-making, are closely related to the building blocks of the multilayer transformer, soft attention mechanism. Meanwhile, the agent state, which is usually checked by a recurrent network, could be replaced by the classification token defined in BERT, which is trained to collect the most valuable vision and language information. As a result, we propose to directly train a single transformer for navigation, and we hypothesize that the transformer can function as a recurrent network to deal with time-dependent inputs. Figure 5 shows our proposed OSCAR-based recurrent VLN BERT. At initialization, we pass the concatenated sequence of the classification token and the instruction to the transformer to obtain the initial state and the language representation. Then, at each navigation step, we fit the agent's previous state, the language representation, and the visual observations as input to the same transformer to get the updated state, the probability PAT for action and POT for object grounding. Note that, in navigation, the initialized language is only applied as keys and values but not query in self-attention so that a huge amount of memory can be saved during training. We further refine the state representation with the weighted vision language inputs and the action which the agent has made. Lastly, we directly apply the average attention weights of the visual tokens at the last layer with respect to the agent state as decision probabilities to move the agent or to ground to an object. Overall, the recurrent VLN BERT is a multifunctional network which encodes the language, performs cross-model grounding, checks the agent states, and makes decisions. It is also capable of multitasking, which addresses the navigation task and the remote object grounding task simultaneously. The idea is generalizable to many transformer-based models due to great simplicity and effectiveness. In this paper, we adapt the model to prevalent a transformer-based model pre-trained especially for VLN. To train the network, we apply imitation learning plus reinforcement learning objectives with several reward functions. We evaluate the recurrent VLN bird on the run room and the reverie datasets. The results are shown in these tables. We can see that the model achieves new state-of-the-art performance on both the datasets and tasks. The results also indicate that the pre-trained knowledge is highly variable and our model can adequately benefit from it. The ablation study shows that the performance of the baseline navigator can be gradually improved by replacing or adding the corresponding network components. Experiments on language self-attention and reward shaping also validate our design. We visualize the navigation trajectory and attention across state, language, and vision for each step. We can see that the language attention shifts from left to right, which agrees with the navigation progress, and the network is confident at choosing the correct direction at each step. We also visualize the single-step layer-wise attention. We can see that the attention across different modalities aggregates gradually towards the visual tokens of the correct action, demonstrating the decision-making process within the transformer. Please refer to our paper for more details and visualizations. Thank you.